My name is Jim Armagas, and I'm with Nimble. I am your SAP security team lead and guru. So today we're going to talk about SU10 and the ability to provide user maintenance across the masses, anywhere from two users to 10 or 15,000 users. This program is very powerful. It will allow you to create, change, delete, lock and unlock thousands of users at one time. So with that, let's get into it. Today what I'll show you is how to create several users at one time just by entering the user ID here. What you would do at this point is go ahead and click on the create button. You're allowed to select the user type. You can select from dialogue system, communications data, and service IDs. You can also select their validity dates from and to. You can set their user groups. You can set their defaults. I am going to go ahead and change these defaults here real quick to what is more typically accepted here in the United States. You could also set their output device if you wanted to, set their parameters, and even add roles. So we'll just add a test role here just to show you how that's going to work. We'll click on the Save button and it'll say, do you actually want to save five users? You can say, yes, you do. In this case, it'll show you all the users that you've created. Now that the users are created, we can actually take a look at each of the users and find out that they have a generated password for the user. This auto-generated password is very cumbersome to work with. Uh, you could actually copy and paste this into a uh, file if you'd like to, to be able to email out to your users. Not something I'd highly recommend, but it, it is useful if you'd like to do this. Now that all the users are created, if you don't like the auto-generated password, in order to make a new password for the users, say you have a particular password you want to give to all users, or you have a certain parameter that you need to provide to your users, you would have to go to each individual user and change the password directly. So then in this case, I've reset the password for test001. I'd have to go back and do that for each one of the other test users if I wanted to change each password that, uh, for those users that I've created. So as you can see, if you had 10,000 users you had to create overnight, changing 10,000 10, passwords would be a nightmare. Now that this has been created, you can also go back to SU10. So now that you've got in and created all the users and you want to change them, you can go to authorization data and pull up all the users by a number of different abilities. You can look, at, look up users by their user ID. You can look them up by groups, by the user group, by a reference user, uh, by their user alias if you wanted to, or even by the role. So if I wanted to come in here and look them up by role, I could take a look at all the different roles that are in there. In this case, I know that I added the ZTest OK to delete test role. I can pull up all the users that are assigned to that role. And I see here that I have actually six users, but only five of which have I actually created. So I'm going to select the five. I'm going to click on the transfer button. And now at this point, you see that it looks like the same screen where I originally entered the users. That is because I selected the users, transferred them back into this screen here. And this will allow me to change, delete, lock, unlock. I choose to change the passwords directly in SU01. So now that I've transferred all my users in, I could actually go in and make a change to their roles if I wanted to. If I wanted to remove the role, I'm going to click on remove. I'm going to select the role that we had added to them. I'm going to click on this change here. What this change checkbox is doing is telling the system to change what they had and remove this role. If you're going to change a role, you also have to change their profile by clicking on remove as well. If you don't do this part here, it will not remove that role. You would save the user. All five users are going to be changed. Those roles will be removed. And you can see here that the profile has been deleted as well as the role has been deleted. So as you can see, we can use SU10 to make mass user changes for any number of users, be able to select a number of users, add roles as you need, 
or delete roles as you need. This has been Jim with Nimble. If you have any questions, please send us an email.